With songs they have sung for a thousand years. Hello, Internet. Two things of import have occurred this week. One, the red volume was released. There it is, the red volume. We'll get back to that in a moment. Second, part of this week has seen me land in Shropshire, which is a county north by northwest of London, and is known, among other things, for its cheese, the Shropshire Blue, which is not at all blue, but we did that last week. Back to the other thing, the first thing. The red volume is an anthology of stories released on a pay-what-you-want basis in order to raise money for the Clarion Foundation, which is a group that runs and awards scholarships to the Clarion Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers Workshop, a six-week writing workshop devoted to transforming writers of science fiction and fantasy early in their careers into writers of science fiction and fantasy later in their careers and, more or less, unstoppable forces of all. Awesome. Notable instructors and graduates of said workshop include Kelly Lee, Neil Gaiman, Ted Chang, Cassie Clare, Marjorie Lou, Delia Sherman, Jeffrey Ford, Corey Doctorow, Octavia Butler, Jeff Vandermeer, Eileen Gunn. This anthology of stories, the red volume was released by Clarion Class of 2012, which includes me and which is known and self-proclaimed as the Awkward Robots. The individual awkward robots of Clarion 2012 are a varied bunch of people. Data visualization experts, artists, hotel concierge, settlers, and rulers of Catan, editors of the television program The Heart of Dixie, actors, actresses, fire twirlers, huge fans of Misfit, at, at the very least seasons one to two, and musicals. Some of us cried during Edelweiss. Then again, some of us cried during the end of Return of the Jedi. We are a group fully committed to our space dragons and sexy moths. That's right, sexy moths. Shirley Jackson Award winner, bloggers for The New Yorker, reviewers for Strange Horizons, frequent contributors to the floopiest of floop dances, held every year at Wisconsin that takes place well in Wisconsin. It was, in fact, in Wisconsin, post-Wisconsin, whilst retreating into a cabin in the woods. <sighs> we, the Awkward Robots, decided that in order to be more awesome, we could form up, much in the way of Voltron, into a super force of Awkward Robotodon, and write, edit, and produce a collection of short stories that then we could go e-commerce on and raise money for the Clarion Foundation, such that more scholarships could be awarded and more awesomeness produced by some heretofore potentially awesome writer of science fiction and or fantasy and, and or whatever the kids are doing these days. And we did, and it's real. The red volume now that's been released, being written up by Boing Boing, being tweeted by Neil Gaiman, reviewed at Tor. Thank you to Neil Gaiman, thank you to Tor, thank you to Boing Boing, thank you to our instructors, Delia Sherman, Ted Chang, Walter John Williams, Holly Black, Cassie Clare, and to Jeffrey Ford, who wrote the awesome introduction to our awesome collection of stories. And thank you to my fellow Awkward Robots for writing such amazing stories. What I love about this whole thing about Clarion was meeting this group of people. I love them. I love how we became a family that attends cons together and does dances together and retreats to cabins in the woods together, that writes crazy cool collections of stories together. We are the hive mind, and the red volume is your chance to see us in our pupil stage before we transform from our current status of Awkward Robots into, well, it's still more or less Awkward Robots, but more like beautiful butterflies fly awkward robots with like steampunk mechanical wings <laughs> so go check us and our stories out and as a bonus feel good about donating to a group of people who help create us the awkward robots goodbye internet see you next time internet <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,